Here's a quick tip for Adobe Illustrator, I'll show you how you can open an EPS or an Illustrator file that's created with a newer version. So what you might see if you open an EPS up is you get this can't open the illustration file generated by a newer version of Illustrator. And if you open it you just get this sort of empty document with nothing in it. So um, what you'll need is a copy of Acrobat and I'm going to open up that EPS file, change the view to all files if you can't see it. And it's going to convert it, so down here you might see a little sort of conversion bar. Takes a little longer to open. There's the file, that's what I was after. So I'm now going to save this out as a PDF. Um, don't need to change any of the settings. Make sure you close it and go back into Illustrator. And I'm going to open up the PDF. So basically it's converted that file to a PDF. And from this point, if you needed to edit it, um, obviously you're going to be limited to what you can actually edit. But um, let's say I want to take out that text there. So I'm left with that and then obviously I could save that out and do whatever I want. So this works but it doesn't work with every file and obviously uh, you can't expect it to because it's created with a newer version. So let me just open up another file which has a bit of a slight issue. So again watch for the progress bar down there if you wonder what's going on. So there's the icon that I was trying to open. I'm going to save that as a PDF again. Don't change any of the settings. Close the file down back into Illustrator and open up the PDF version. As you can see there, I've got a bit of a warning. Now obviously a newer version of Illustrator might have a feature that the older version doesn't have. And if the document was created using that feature, then this version probably won't support it. So we've got this error. Um, you can open it anyway. And in this case, it actually looks all right. There might be a subtle shading effect on that. Um, but you know, it's for your own judgment whether you think it's okay to use. In most cases, you'll be resorting to this because the person that supplied you the file can't send it down to you as an older version or they don't know what they're doing. Um, so this is your only sort of option. Um, so it's, it's quite handy, it's not ideal. Obviously you could get in sort of trial version of the newer version of Illustrator, but um, that's only gonna give you 30 days of use. Or if you can bring someone up to get it to get them to save it down to that version for you, that would be that would be useful. But otherwise, this is sort of like you know your last resort. Um, hopefully, that's been useful to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Or um, if you'd like to see more of this, please subscribe. Or please send me a comment, preferably a nice one, and that'd be great. Thanks.